All right, Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all the Akim out there doing this work in truth and essence here. Shalom. Um, the name of this lesson is going to be Patience. As you can see, I searched it and all the scriptures about patience is happens to be in the New Testament. But, you know, I'm going to go through, I mean, I really could go all, through all of these. I'm pretty sure majority of them are very, edif you know, very lift, uplifting and better, very edifying. So, Okay, I'm going to just read this. Uh, Luke 8 and 15. But that, but that on the good ground, they are. So like, yeah, but that, but that on the good ground that are they, which is an honest and good heart. Having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. Now, I already looked up that word patience. It's a noun. It says quality, it says quality of being willing to bear adversities. That's us. That's another thing that we have to do. Uh, you know, um, deal with adversity. People coming up against you. Calm endurance of misfortune, suffering, etc. Sufferance. Endurance, quality of suffering. So, we're supposed to bring forth fruit in suffering. This is Luke 21 19. In your patience, in your suffering, which goes back to suffering, possess ye your souls. Um, this is Romans 5 and 3. Not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Which you know, it also patience. I mean, all also goes back to endurance, quality of willing, quality of being willing to bear infirmities. And right now, as we can see, it's like. As we can see, this world is slowly coming to an end, man. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh speeding this thing up. Baba Kashah, he continued to do that. You know, because this kingdom, this wicked society must go, is, is on its way down, man. And soon, soon, it ain't going to be no more um, talking, man. It's going to be straight action. Action. You know, you how about Shemel Shah is not playing with you people no more, man. He is finna destroy and devour. You how about Shemel Shah is finna destroy and devour at once. He ain't playing, man. He he's been taking this junk too long. Let me get this scripture. This is Isaiah 42 and 13. Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Yea, it's like he shall cry. Yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Verse 14. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. So Yahweh Shah is coming back to kick some ass, man. 
he said he's going to destroy and devour at once. Which, you know, Yahweh Shemir Shah is going to do that. He's sending his son back, Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah is finna get that get busy, man. This is Romans 8 and 25. But if we have hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. So right now, with patience, with which goes back to suffering and endurance and bearing infirmities, I mean at bearing adversities. That right now we have patience to wait for the coming of the day, the coming of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, when Yahweh sends his son Yahweh Shah back, we have hope for it, but with patience we wait for it. That which we see not, which is the coming of the Lord, the kingdom, and everything that comes with it, man. The destruction of America, the, the so called ICBM missiles, you know, um, Edom going into slavery. With patience, we which which means with suffering, we wait for these things. This is Romans fifteen and four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience, which goes back to suffering and then bearing and bearing adversities and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So the things that are written before time in the Old Testament were written for our learning, man. So, for all you clowns out there that don't believe that, um, what's like it, what they be saying? Um, just focus on the New Testament. You knew, you, 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 you know, you excluding the Old Testament. What do you have to say about Romans 15 and 4, man? It said the things that are written before time were written for our learning, you know. This is Second Corinthians six and four. But in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High, in much patience, which means suffering and bearing adversities, endurance, and afflictions and necessities and distresses. So, while we are out here in this world, in this wicked world, we are to have patience, which um, goes back to suffering. When you have patience for something, you you automatically gonna suffer, man. This is Hebrews ten and thirty six. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. So right now we still are in the process of doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. And at the end, we want we we want to receive the promise, man. <sighs> Hebrews twelve and one. Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also, it's like it, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the faith, I mean, the race that is set before us. So, um, that which you know, it go also goes back to patience, man, like I keep saying. So, bullshit, you know, gift to the Vatican. Fucking homosexuals. That's all they are, a bunch of homosexuals. Quality of being willing to bear adversities, calm endurance of misfortune, suffering, patience, sufferance, permission. Ooh. Hum humility. Submissiveness. Humility. 
submission to lust bearing supporting suffering enduring permitting tolerant indulgence to endure undergo experience used of persons as well as navigable rivers present particle to endure and undergo experience which is uncertain uncertain origin well, even when you being patient suffering or sick person under mental treatment so patience go back to suffering man huh? This is James 1 and 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye us like it, that ye might be perfect and, and be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Um, this is Joe, James 5 and 10. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for of the name of Yahweh, for an example of suffering, patience, and, I mean, affli and affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the, of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. This is uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which is suffering also. So it goes back to suffering, you know. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. This is Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience, which goes back to suffering and faith of the saints so you mean to tell me the saints gonna have patience and suffering this is Ecclesi in Sirach 2 and 14 woe unto you that have lost patience and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you So that that right there was plain and simple, man. I ain't need to break that down. This is Ecclesi this is Sirach 20 and 32. Necessary patience in seeking Yahweh Shem Shah is better than he that leadeth his life without a God. This is Sirach 42 and a 2. O death, acceptable is thy sentence unto the needy, and unto him whose strength faileth that is now in the last age and is vexed with all things and to him that despaireth and has and hath lost patience so i hope you was edified with this lesson you know i hope you get the point and i broke you know through the spirit through the spirit and power of yahweh i hope you understand this lesson and understand that in the being the man of the Lord, you're gonna have to go through patience. You're gonna it's like you're gonna have to go through suffering, which is you know, and have patience while going through suffering and endure into the end, like the scripture says, constantly endure. So, with that, say, so like, hold on.
This is Ecclesiasticus 2 and 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make no haste in the time of trouble. So I'm going to end it on that and I'm going to say Shalom.